I'm in the building of the Accra Traffic Management Center, and I'm here with engineer Pat Uni. She is a road safety engineer with the Urban Roads Department. What do you do here, if you would want to explain to us briefly what happens at the center? At the center, um, you see the, the field traffic system in, on the screen here. And what happens is that we have coordinated all the signals for one particular corridor. And that's what you see on the screen. That is the um, BRT route, that's the Amasaman route. And for, this, uh, for the road, we have about 33 signals. And we've, uh, it's um, controllers. And it's the controller that's the brain for the system. So it, it's, it detects, we've detectors on the ground. It picks the, um, the vehicles, and then it sends message through the controller. And then we are able to see it um, on the screen here. The Alajo intercession. I'm sure you are aware of the non-functioning traffic lights there. One, what has accounted to it not functioning? What is your outfit doing about it? This is not the first time. I think this is the second time that has happened. And then, so we try to put a bar across even the batteries and all have been cut and then the, the batteries have been taken away. Oh. Is this... Um, peculiar to only the Alajo intercession or other traffic lights within the capital, if not for the country at large? No, it, it happens at other locations. There's a similar one happened at the airport traffic lights, and then we had to uh, replace it, and then we also notified the police. The police couldn't tell us of the issue. It was when we reported and they realized that indeed had been stolen. With the vandalism, we are not able to trace whoever it is, and then the police are not able to give us anything when we, we report the incidents to them. But then with the accident that we have seen, for the route, we are in, in, in direct uh, discussion with the police, and when we send the bill, and most of the time it's within the means of the, the driver, then he pays. At times where it is out of his means, that means that he cannot pay and there's nothing we can do. The police will let us know that they will process him to court and that has been it. We are never able to recoup the money to replace it back. So it means that government has to find other means to pay um, to replace it for us. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Ni Latte.